Some say that you're only as strong as who your friends are. In that case, man, I must be really weak. Have you seen So Hinky? Anyways, anyways, if I wanted a video game character by my side in a bar fight, throwing punches, got my back, I need to go back to the origin of bar fights. A good old fashioned saloon slugfest. I'm talking about John motherfucking Marston. Yeah, first of all, you want to drink with a man because he's a goddamn cowboy. Man, he's wanted, dead, or alive. Dead or alive. Anyways, he'd be badass, he'd be pulling guns out if he needs to, shoot some people down, and he's a good guy. He's married. And he knows that, he respects that, so he's not gonna take the other ladies there. So after you're done kicking everybody's ass with John Marston, and all the ladies are like, ooh, you're so strong, John Marston. He'd be like, no thanks, little lady, why don't you come find my partner over here, Jovenshire, and give him a good time. And I'd be like, thanks, John Marston. <sighs> Man, I'm a little single. <laughs> so who you'd want to have with you in a bar fight, I think, the obvious choice for me is Max Payne. You always find him in bars. He, he's sort of at home in a bar, really, if you think about it. It's like his natural habitat. And you're chilling with Max Payne in a bar. He's probably got some cool stories to tell. And then when the trouble comes, when the, the jerks come and they're trying to hit on your girl or whatever it is, or the fight's about to break out, he just slows everything down. And what he does is he slows everything down, so maybe there's a fist about to be in your face, but then boom, magnum to the guy's head. And I'm not saying that's the best way to solve every problem that you would have in a bar. But Max Payne seems to get away with it all the time and you know you get out of there and people will be like it was that fat bald dude and clearly I'm not fat or bald so I'd be in the clear. People I'd want on my side in a bar fight. Well I'm wearing the bullet storm shirt today so we gotta talk about him. The man himself, Grayson Hunt. Man what a, first of all he gets drunk in his game and he gets point multipliers for being drunk and killing people. So we'd just be hanging out getting drunk in the bar like we normally do and then you know some some fools come up, some frat boys trying to start trouble, and Grayson's like, what up, bitch? Knocking people out, using the whip to flail them around, point multipliers going off everywhere, because we'd probably be hammered. It would be a pretty fun bar fight. Uh, yeah, he was the man. And then he's got his snarky, sarcastic comments, which he would also be throwing out there during the fight. So yeah, I gotta go with Grayson Hunt, the man himself. God, give us a sequel to Bulletstorm. How many times do I have to say it? Ah, so angry. And then, Another manly dude that would be great to have in a bar fight, uh, Kratos. Why? He's got magical swords and crazy powers. He always just slices everyone in half, and, and really you just don't have to worry about anything when you're Kratos. He's a, he can hold you in his nice big bear arms and makes you feel safe. And that's why Kratos always gets all the ladies. He always, he banged after, actually, now that I think about it, that's terrible, because Kratos would just get all the ladies. So yeah, I mean, if you were in a fight, it'd be great to have him around, because he'd take care of business, but then he'd also take care of business the whole reason you went to the bar in the first place so now I'm kind of wanting to change my answer to something else who else let's see how about James Heller from prototype 2 anyone who calls Alex Mercer a little emo bitch is the type of dude you want on your side in a bar fight I mean not to mention the fact that he could take a take turn rip it off the tank and then like freaking Hulk smash it down onto the tank and blow it up and like hijack choppers and shit. And plus, he could, uh, he could like become other people. So he could be like, oh, I'll pretend to be that dude's buddy, and then I'll sneak up behind him and crack him with a bottle of Jameson or something. Don't waste Jameson. Don't waste Jameson, uh, Jovenshire says. Fine, a bottle of vodka, whatever. He just seemed like a cool drinking buddy, trash talking dude. I mean, he was angry all the time, but that's the kind of dudes that you want to take out to the bar and be like, let's just drink, you know, we could shoot some darts. You let go of all that anger because, you know, your family got killed or whatever. Actually, yeah, that might be too intense. But whatever, I already picked him, and he's badass. <laughs> John Marsden would be great in a bar fight. Don't get me wrong, he'd be able to pack a punch, but let's face it, I'm gonna get hit in this face, I gotta keep pretty. So who could I have in a bar fight that's gonna like keep me out of any other bar fight? We're gonna go with Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, because with him, there would be no bar fight. First of all, I'm taking drinks responsibly, and, and then Scorpion's doing like flaming shots, because. Come on, that only makes sense. Or maybe he's drinking apple teeny because that's okay too. And then some douchebag wants to come up and be like, yo, who's the ninja drinking apple teenies? And then he just looks at him. His hair's like, his, his, his head's on fire, his arms on fire. Douchebag's like, oh no, dude, I'm sorry, I'm out. I'm out. Bam. Conflict averted. We're talking like Gandhi status here. Easy. That's what you gotta go with. See, 
I'm a peaceful guy. I don't like to get in a fight. Maybe that's why I'm single. I don't want to fight for love. It should just happen. And like his, his eyes go on fire. You see like the fire coming from his arms and his head. And then dude's like, all right, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game over. It's over, I'm out, I'm out. Problem adverted. We're talking like Gandhi status here. So. <laughs> Averted, you idiot. Adverted? Oh, that's adverted. Advertised. <laughs> Conflict. <laughs> Conflict averted. I can't even say that word without adding the D. Averted, not adverted. Adverted. Averted. Conflict averted. Oh, see, I did it again.